Welcome, to the Corp Vault channel. In this video we will discuss, Comvault dash copy. Please, like, share, comment or suggest. Subscribe for more videos, and, you can follow us on Instagram. Dash copy is useful, when you need to create secondary copies of the duplicated data. Dash copy provides a fast method of copying data, by transferring only the changed data to a secondary copy, ideally off-site copy for disaster recovery. Compared to traditional low copy, dash copy transfers only the modified data to secondary copy. How dash copy works? Dash copy operations are optimized auxiliary copy jobs, that transfer only the changed data blocks to a secondary copy. Initial or the first DOX copy job, will copy all the existing data, from source, to destination disk library. You may also call it as, seeding. Once the initial full DOX copy job is performed, only the changed data blocks, are transferred, during subsequent DOX copy jobs. Let's check, how to enable dash copy. In our previous videos, we have already discussed, how to create a dedupe storage policy. Let's check, from where we can enable dash copy, during create a secondary copy, that is, aux copy. Right click on the storage policy, for which you wish to create dash copy. All tasks. Select, create new copy. Copy properties window. Select destination library, a disk library. Ensure to enable the duplication. The duplication tab. We will not discuss every tab here. Advanced tab. From here you can enable, and disable dash copy. Dash copy can be performed using one of the methods, that is, either disk read optimized copy, or network read optimized copy. We will discuss them in detail in a bit. Let's discuss in detail, how dash copy transfer only unique data segments to target. Disk read optimized copy. Disk read optimized option, reduces the IO load on the primary source disk, by transmitting only the signatures to the target media agent. Let's discuss, how dash copy, with disk read optimization works. During the dash copy operation, the existing signatures are read from the data chunks metadata, that contains the data block signatures, that are available on the primary disk, on the source media agent. These signatures, are compared to the existing signatures, on the DDB, that is, the duplication database, located on the destination, remote, media agent, let's say, media agent on a remote location. Based on the comparison, one of the operation is performed. If the signature is present on the destination DDB, then the data blocks are already available on the destination media agent. Only signature references are transmitted, to update the destination DDB. If the signature is new, that is, the data block is not present, on the destination media agent, then, the data is, unraveled on the primary media agent. Data is compressed divided into blocks based on the block size, and then the signatures are generated for each block, on the primary media agent. The data blocks and the signatures, are transferred to destination media agent. These data blocks are stored on a secondary storage, and generated signatures are stored in the DDB. Network Optimized Copy Dash Copy, with Network Optimization option, reduces the number of signatures, that are sent over the network. However, this operation is I.O. intensive on the disk, because new signatures have to be created for the dash copy, and only unique signatures are sent over the network. Let's discuss, how dash copy with network optimization works. During the dash copy operation, the data on the primary disk is unraveled. Unraveled data is compressed, divided into blocks and then new signatures are generated, on the primary media agent. These signatures are compared, to the existing signature on the DDB, located on the destination, remote, media agent. 
Based on the comparison, it performs the following operation. If the signature is present on the destination DDB, then the data blocks are already available on the destination media agent. Only signature references are transmitted to update the destination DDB. If the signature is new, that is the data block is not present on the destination media agent, then the data block along with the signature is sent to the destination media agent. The data blocks are stored on secondary disk and the signatures are stored in the destination DDB. One other option to discuss is, enable source side disk cache. You can optimize the signature lookup process, by setting up the local source side cache, on the client or source media agent, for dash copy. After you set up the local source side cache, the signatures are first looked up, in the local source side cache. A remote lookup is initiated, when the signatures are not available in the local source side cache. The remote lookup produces the response time, for a signature comparison in a network with high latency. On primary copy, when this option is enabled, source side cache is configured, on all clients associated to the storage policy. On secondary copies, use source side cache option, when both source and destination media agents, are in one network environment. If source and destination media agents, are in network environment other than one, enabling source side cache on those media agents, might degrade the performance of the dash copy. Source side cache, for dash copy can be performed using, disk read optimization, or network read optimization. For faster dash copy performance, move the job results directory, to a faster disk on the source media agent. Limit the maximum cache size to NMB. Use this option, to set the maximum size of the source side cache. The range of the size is 1 GB, to 128 GB, for backup jobs. And for AUX copy jobs, it is 8 GB, to 128 GB. Optimize for high latency networks, by avoiding remote lookups. Use this option, to increase data protection operation performance, when clients, or source media agent, for dash copy, are in delayed network, or in high latency environments like one, and data mover and DDB media agents, are in fast network environments like LAN. On primary copy, enable this option, to configure high latency optimization on all clients, associated with primary copy of the storage policy. When high latency optimization is enabled, the client compares the signature against the local cache. The DDB is not looked up by the client, or source media agent, for dash copy. If the signature exists in the local cache, the data block is discarded. If the signature does not exist in the local cache, the signature is updated in the local cache, that can be referred by further backup jobs, and the data with the signature, is transmitted to the media agent. The media agent with a local, or remotely hosted DDB, compares signatures against the DDB. If the signatures exists in the DDB, the media agent discards the data blocks, and adds the additional entries in the DDB. If the signatures are not available in the DDB, the DDB will be updated with new signatures, and data will be written to the disk. Please note. This option is not supported for a storage policy copy, configured with cloud storage library, or when used DDB priming option, with source side deduplication option enabled, on deduplication, settings tab. Let's discuss few more optimization settings. For disk read optimization, as the data available on primary disk is already deduplicated the signature computing, and deduplication on the target media agent, can be avoided using, use aux copy read less plus additional settings. This settings also allows to use, a local cache on the source media agent, and DDB priming feature with disk read optimization. For local cache setup with disk ready optimization, you also need to enable, use cache DB additional settings, which we will discuss in a bit. We recommend you to enable, 
Use aux copy read less plus settings, only when the primary copy is deduplicated. Expand storage resources. Expand media agents. Right click on the source media agent. Select properties. Media agent properties window. Click the additional settings tab. Click add button. Add additional settings window. In the name box, type use aux copy read less plus and select the entry. In the category, type and value box, the information is automatically populated. The description field provides the detailed info, about what this key does. In the value box, type 1 to enable. Once done click OK, and then OK again, to create the registry key on the media agent. Let's enable signature caching for dash copy. The signature lookup process can be optimized, by setting up the local cache on the source media agent. Once you set up local cache, the signatures are first looked up in the local cache. A remote lookup is initiated, only when the signatures are not available in the local cache. Right click the source media agent. Select properties. Media agent properties window. Click the additional settings tab. Click Add button. Add additional settings window. In the name box, type, use cache db. From the category drop down list, select media agent. From the type drop down list, select integer. In the value box, type 1 to enable. Add comment if needed. Once done click OK, and then OK again, to create the registry key on the media agent. Let's discuss dash copy performance. For best performance on the dash copies, if you have encrypt data option enabled, on the client computer properties, make sure you have, encrypt data and re-encrypt data using selected cipher option, enabled on the secondary copy. If you are experiencing performance issues during dash copy, you can troubleshoot them by, verifying network latency between, source and target media agent. Depending on the outcome, choose the respective possible solution. Also, verify the duplication reduction on a primary copy. If you identify data, getting backed up with lowest amount of deduplication, you might have to look for an alternate solution, or work with vendor Convault, to find a possible solution. Finally, to avoid performance issues when running dash copies, ensure setting up appropriate number of streams for storage policies, that is, for deduplication enabled storage policy, do not set more than 50 streams. For global deduplication storage policy, stream count should be within 50 streams. Note that this 50 stream count includes all child storage policies. We will end this video here. Do subscribe to our channel, if not already done so. Do subscribe for more videos.